Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. In this video, I will be doing a normal, a heroic, and then going on to a master rift because I need to do that normal. To do that heroic, then do that master. It's a transactional thing with 5,000 shards. If you know what, you know what I mean. It's fine. And some of you may be wondering, why am I using 5 stars? Well, currently is hero use. I've got 34 minutes. So obviously, I'm going to use as many 5 stars as possible to try and get to that hero use kind of total. So obviously, we're going to, run, we're going to chance it and we're not going to get what we want. Instead, we get a chest, which will probably be some 3 star shards, 4 star shards. I can't remember with this. Either way, you know, we've got to speculate to accumulate. We need loads of those decent stuff in order to kind of propel us further through the game. I hope that your rifts are going reasonably well. Mine are going quite well. Hopefully these 5 star rifts are going to be brilliant. I'm currently making this video on Friday the 13th. And you know, I'm thinking more like a... Kind of Friday the 13th. Like, but I don't know why I decided to wolf... Like, It's more of like a Halloween thing or kind of like a full moon. I don't think I'm turning like hairy, so I don't think that I could be kind of justified for being a, uh, a werewolf of any kind. But still, got to do something in videos to make it remotely interesting or fun. But yeah, Friday the 13th. A very unlucky day. Uh, will it be unlucky for me? Hopefully not, because as we build up and obviously do the heroic and then go on to the master, I'm hoping for a skill awakening gem. If I could get a skill awakening gem, perfect, because then I will probably go ape scat, because that will be an awakened blade, which, uh, you know, I've been hunting for a long time. Anything with regards to like any, like a five star crystal, seeing five star featured was pretty cool, like having that entered in to the rift. Is a nice little added extra. Ooh, that's very nice. But, you know, you want the best out of these rifts, but I've seen a lot of people that are getting a little bit unlucky with regards to uh, their pull. So hopefully, when you come to do the next master rift for yourself, that you get a bit of luck because you deserve it. Person watching, hello, hi, you deserve luck. So that's the normal done with three star shards. Yay. But st they're still good. Like, it means obviously. Close to a three star, three star means four star shards, you know, it's all good. Now we're on to the heroic rift, and you know, these things are it's still fine for whatever level you are at the game, whatever you can accomplish, it does mean that still you're going to have some amazing opportunities to kind of improve your roster. Whether any stage in the game, these things are great. Even the beginner one can be like a, a nice little added extra for those that are just fresh to the game. So, it, it's one of my favourites. Rifts are one of my favourites. Secondly, the little kind of things where you get to purchase whatever you want. So, where you get to purchase, say, uh, we had the Valor Store, we also had the Scrapyard. Those are two of my kind of favourite things. But I, I don't think we'll see them for a little while. I felt that we really got a decent treat with regards to those ones. Modoc Labs, one time was fine with that. Repeating Modoc Labs, oh, not for me. Right, chancing it. Can we get something good? We've got a tier 4 basic. I will settle for that as being something that will help my roster out, whether or not it was 4 star shards. You know, tier 4 basic's handy. I'm finding that I've got more alphas now. Tier 4 basics, I am lacking thereof. I know, Rich's revelations on the subject. Yeah, um, tier 4 basics, low in amount, need a lot more. Got a big opening by the end of the month and a big load of rank ups especially with season two of wars coming it's important to obviously strengthen your roster i need a better offensive roster you're probably kind of like wondering why aren't i using my kind of more powerful five stars or four stars and that's because they are tied to alliance quest and we're in alliance wars at the moment so i don't get to play too much of my favorites and i'd like using my favorite champions who doesn't like using the favorite champions? It's like saying that oh, your Stark Spider is tied to wars, your Blade is tied to offensive in wars, your other champions are tied to alliance quests. So it's like that's five, three, and then five. So that's eleven champions that I would have liked to have played with that are tied to wars. See, it's it's not always fun. So you end up having to grind out the game a little bit more in order to kind of get those champions available for you. Uh, I would have liked to said that my Blade at four star was available. But that's in Alliance Quest at the moment. So, yeah, disappointing. But you have to make do. You have to find champions that maybe are your kind of reserve, 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 reserve. And then take it from there. Let's have a quick scan around of what we could have won. Here's what you could have won. There used to be a show in the UK called Bullseye. And what they used to do at the end of it is, like, if you lost out, they would go, 
this is what you could have won. So we could have won a four-star Cosmic Awakening Gem and obviously the uh, the regular crates, uh, the storage crates. Then also we've got Signature Stones, a four-star. And also then we've got the Tier 4 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystals. So not hugely interesting. The Cosmic four-star Awakening Gem would have been handy if, for whatever reason, I decided to grind out Proxima Midnight over the weekend. I can't due to, due to like personal commitments on things. But that's, that's happened sometimes. You have to have a life outside the game, and that's something that I think I've got to create that balance a lot better for myself. That's Proxima Midnight out of the park and done. Then we're going to move on to the Nameless and then get into that Master Rift. Come on, Nameless Hyperion. Do your special. Oh, not that kind of special, but still. I'm still going to tank you out, man. And you're dead. There we go, decent rifting. We've got that Tier 4 Basic, which is still incredibly helpful to my roster at this point in the game. Right, here we go, I'm on bundle of nerves now, so don't know what I'm going to see. Hopefully, hopefully, like, it's a skill, 5-star, Awakening Gem. Let's have a, have a look around. Oh, man, it's a mistake. Now, obviously, these are the three that I want to get. The Tier 2 Alpha, the 5-star. Uh, I don't really have a another mystic that I want to put up. And I've, the last mystic that I awakened was uh, Morningstar, so that obviously was a thing. That I had to do because it was helpful to my roster and also the champions, fantastic. The kind of less than exciting prizes are the tier 4 mystic, tier 4 basic, and then obviously we've got the, the chests here. And then down here is the, ooh, 5 star featured. Okay, I completely forgot about that. I should have read ahead and just kind of had a look at the power gain side of things because these guys are going to power gain. Obviously you can bait them out and this is when obviously power control becomes a thing. But as long as you keep perfect distance, really wish I had my kind of like more powerful champions going to cut through it like butter. But as long as I play well, it should be absolutely fine. I'm not going to try for a perma stun, but that would be a thing. Come on, man! You can do it. Yeah, good girl. Excellent. Look at that. Smashing on through. And she's doing her specials a lot more easily, so that's something to kind of watch out for. Is just make sure that you're keeping perfect distance and also auto block. That's something that I've completely forgot in that moment. Remember, rush of uh, shit to the brain sometimes isn't particularly great, and also auto block. But hey, we're doing well. Like as long as you focus on what you're doing and try and multitask as much as possible, but at the same time focus on the game, it can be absolutely fine for you. Here we go with the moment of truth. Uh, Right, I want the five, either the tier 2 alpha, the 5 star, or the 5 star featured. Wish me good luck. Here we go. Uh, for God's sakes. Yeah, do you know what? That's just my luck. I'm recording this video on Friday the 13th, so yeah. All this stuff that I would have liked to have got over here, non-existent. But hey-ho, let's finish this off. One, two. Excellent, and then on the intercept, smash through, lovely, cable down. Next up we've got the uh, the man, the myth, the legend, or the ice man, the myth, the legend. That is Mr. Well, ice man, the man of ice. And if I can get this L2 off at me. Ugh, oh, terrible time frame to kind of like evade back on that one, but still, it's all good. I'm better with the L1, because that's piss easy to avoid. Right, Hulk smash superior Iron Man. Hulk no like superior Iron Man. He bit of dick. And he annoying fellow. I, I, I don't know why Hulk's turned into a Cherokee uh, turned into like a, an American Indian. Um, Native American, sorry. Yes, me Hulk. Me smash superior Iron Man. Arr! Me take damage. Me no like. I don't know, I think that's how, how we would speak. Probably not. Don't flop, Hulk. I'm counting on you. Smash. And then, yeah, we pretty much just smashed. Didn't pass, he smashed. There you go, come on, man. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Okay, not good. Not good. I shouldn't have done that. I've just gone straight into the, his... Uh... Oh, oh, come on, 
Okay, so the job is done. We get 500 five-star shards. Great for roster development. Also accompanied with the one-star box, which was 1,000 shards. So 1,500 shards. Okay, it's it's good. It's helpful towards my roster. These have definitely kind of increased since the last time the rifts were in. And that has really been the video. I didn't really want to show you much of the fighting side of things because, well, I didn't really get anything good. So I was like, hey, yo. Oh, we're, we're done with the video. Anyway, Friday the 13th strikes again. But it's cool because I still got build up to that third, I think, five side that I got to open. But anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. I've been Rich Man. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champions-based content. And as always, I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye for now.